What's up, everyone? As always, thanks for stopping by. Okay, today someone sent me a message. They're having a little problem with the... Pulled out the threads or stripped them in their head. So I thought before I left the shop today, I would give them the at-home tutorial on how to fix those threads. Hypothetically, can't really fix those threads, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so obviously, you know, you have your one good stud here, and we're just going to hypothetically say those are the ones that are stripped out. So naturally, I have this cadaver jug. Always something falling. Chucked up in the vise just to show you the process. You will have to remove your motor because you only get one good shot at this and you can't screw it up. Or you will have to buy that cylinder and go through all that little extra rigmarole pain. So anyway, you could take this to an American size thread or the very next size metric thread. I have both sets of taps and dies, but just to, for the case of this video, and a lot of times it's easier to get a, an American standard tap at your local hardware store or auto parts store, and sometimes they don't have all the metric sizes or whatnot, so we are personally going to go with quarter inch is what we're going to tap this one out to. So we will take, if we're at home, we'll take our drill bit kit and see what is the next sized hole. This one is in the hole, so we need the next size. By coincidence, this one is a 732nd. So what we're going to do, before we get ahead of ourselves, naturally put your motor on a table. I know it's a pain to remove it, you might get lucky and be able to lay it off to the side where it's stable enough for you to drill this hole. But like I say, you have to be semi-perfect, so make sure you have your stuff stable. Can't be chasing it around with a drill and drilling the egg-shaped hole. So we are going to take our 730 seconds drill and re-drill our hole. <laughs> It had bottomed out from where it was before. <laughs> and then you can go to your hardware store and get your tap. A flat bottom tap works best, which means it doesn't have a point on the end. It is a flat. I do not have that one with me, but this will give you the concept. And actually, if this is all you can get, it will work. Now, obviously, I tap and drill a lot of holes, not just in bicycle stuff, but in heavy equipment and automobiles, broken head bolts and whatnot, so I have the fancy handle. You do not have to have the fancy handle. God forbid it comes out of my mouth, but you can use a pair of vice grips and clamp on it. I will show you here in just a bit. But the, for the concept, we are going to put new threads in our new board hole. It is cast aluminum, so it's not, doesn't take a lot of stress to put your threads in there. They might be a little tight, but nothing to where you have to twist and wrench the thing. Okay, my tap has bottomed out in the bottom of my hole, so I will screw it back out. And there we have our new threads in our hole. We'll make sure there's no shavings left in it <laughs> whatsoever. And hope that wasn't annoying on the old video there. Now you might be able to purchase a stud like your other one here where you screw the nut on it. You put the stud in first, then you put the nut on like they come from the factory at your hardware store but a lot of times these little dudes are hard to find they're just not a big super prevalent thing out there so unless you got a wide selection you may have to go with the bolt you can get a hex head bolt or a phillips head bolt or whatever 
but you have to match your threads to your tap. And it usually says right on the tap, if I can get that in there. And it's a little blurry. Oh, there we go. What size tap you're using. So you can take that to the hardware store with you. And the hardware people usually help you out. Same thing with the automotive folks. And they'll make sure that you get the right size bolt and the right threads. This is a coarse thread for a quarter inch hole. All right, so we blew our shavings away, got rid of our napkin there because we do not want any shavings, not even a smidgen of a shaving in our cylinder to damage our engine. We're trying to make this a quick repair, not a catastrophic moment. Long-winded little guy. Okay. Now, where did I set the other screw? Like I said, you can get your own Phillips head, flat head. I would choose hex head. You can replace that with two bolts. Or if you're lucky enough, you can find a stud. Screw your new size stud in there. You will have to drill your hole in your intake to match your new bolt size. But now that we have our new threads in there, we can tighten them down and we're good to go. I would personally want them to match, but just for the case in point of showing you the process and how it works, tighten them down and you'll be ready to ride again. And you don't have to remove the cylinder and buy a new jug and go through all that pain. If you have a broken stud in there and you have to drill out the stud, that is a whole another category. I will uh, make a video one of these days to show you how to do that. But that chances of getting that right at home are 99.5% that you're not going to get it. Because if that drill bit walks off that stud, yep, drills the hole in a different spot or egg-shaped or a various amount of travesty, then you have no choice but to get a, a new cylinder. But for just pulled out threads, this will save you every time. All right, I hope this helped. I'm calling it a Friday. And uh, everybody ride safe out there.